today we'll be practicing a question from algebra algebra is a vast topic of mathematics different types of question fall under the category of algebra so questions of functions and graphs questions of linear quadratic inequalities questions involving solving simultaneous equations all of that comes under algebra so today let us look at a question of functions it has been given that if f of x plus 2 is equal to f of x plus f of x plus 1 for all positive integers x and f of 11 has been given as 91 and f of 15 has been given as 617 what is the value of f of 10 right so do pause the video and give this question a try we have been given the expression of f of x plus 2 and we have been given fixed value of f of 11 and f of 15 and we want to find out f of 10. So pause the video, give it a try. Once you have given it a good try, you can play the video and cross check the solution. So we have that f of 11 given as 91. What is this f of 11? f of 11 is going to be f of 9 plus 2 and that gives me f of 9 plus f of 9 plus 1 that is f of 10 right so f of 11 is f of 9 plus f of 10 so the pattern here is 9 10 11 similarly i can find out f of 12 which is going to be f of 10 plus f of 11 this is what we will be having f of 13 on the other hand is going to be f of 11 plus f of 12 f of 14 is going to be f of 12 plus f of 13 and finally we will be having f of 15 as f of 13 plus f of 14 right this is the pattern that we are getting so we do have a lot of common terms among the terms that have been given like we have f of 14 having f of 12 and f of 13 and then 15 also has 13 and 14 13 on the other hand as in 11 and 12 and so on right and in all of this i want to find out this f of 10 now this f of 10 where is it it's in the expression of f of 12 right so let us assume this f of 12 to be let's say a just to make this entire representation uh, you know much simpler so let f of 12 be equal to a right so we will be having f of 13 as f of 11 plus a now, do I know f of 11? Yes, f of 11 has been given to us as 91. So, I have f of 13 as 91 plus 8. If I look at f of 14, what is f of 14? It's f of 12 again. I know f of 12 is a a. And I know f of 13 is a 91 plus a. Right? So, f of 14 is nothing but 91 plus 2a. 91 plus 2a. Right? Now thinking, looking at f of 15, f of 15 we know is 617, f of 13 we just found out is 91 plus a, sorry 91 plus a and f of 14 we just found out is 91 plus 2a, 91 plus 2a, right. So do I have an equation just in terms of a, do I have an equation just in terms of a? Yes, if I simplify this, I will be able to find out the value of A. Let's do that. So, this is going to be a 182 plus 3A is equal to 617. Bringing this 182 to this side, what will I be having? A 5, a 3 and a 4. 435 is equal to 3A. 435 is equal to 3A. So, A is going to be equal to 435 upon 3 that is equal to 145. So, A is equal to 145. What is this A? A is nothing but F of 12. So, we have F of 12 is equal to 145. Now, what is this F of 12? F of 12 is nothing but F of 10 plus f of 11 f of 11 i know is 91 is equal to 145 and this will give me the value of f of 10 that is 145 minus 91 nothing but 34 54 sorry 54 so the correct answer is going to be 54 is this clear yes so what did we start with we started with 
understanding that we need to find out the relation between this f of 11 and f of 15 because those are the two terms given to us and they are not consecutive terms, right? So we need to find some relation between this f of 11 and f of 15 with respect to the function that has been given, with respect to the definition of the function that has been given. So f of 11 can be written as f of 9 plus f of 10, f of 12 can be written as f of 10 plus f of 11 and so on right till f of 15. So if I assume f of 12 to be something, why are we taking f of 12? So if it's something because f of 12 is made of 11 and 10. 11 we already know, 10 we need to find out, right? So let us assume f of 12 to be a and then if we just plug in the values one after the other in the relations that have been given, we will find 617 is equal to 91 plus a plus 91 plus 2a. So from that we can find out the value of a. A is nothing but f of 12, f of 12 is f10 plus f11, f11 we know is 91 so we can find out f of 10. So the question we looked at was a good one, it was a little higher than gate level but not very much beyond the scope of gate. So it can be asked, questions of that kind can be asked. Here's the practice question for you, if the product of three consecutive positive integers is 15600, then the sum of the square of these integers is how much, right? So the product of three consecutive positive integers is 15600. What is the sum of the squares of these integers? The options are 1777, 1785, 1877 and 1875, right? So give this question a try, it's a good question. Leave your answers and solutions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're finding these videos helpful. Also, click on the like button. Share it with your friends. I will see you tomorrow with another question of quantitative aptitude for GATE 2022. Take care.